Vitamin B12 Deficiency, a leading cause of depression and anxiety. Let's begin. A deficiency in vitamin B12 is heavily linked with an increased risk of depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. Here are some details on how B12 deficiency contributes to depression. 1. Neurotransmitter production. Vitamin B12 is essential for synthesizing various neurotransmitters, including serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. These neurotransmitters regulate mood, emotions, and overall mental well-being. A deficiency in B12 can disrupt the production and balance of these neurotransmitters, potentially leading to depressive symptoms. 2. Methylation process. Vitamin B12 is involved in the methylation process, essential for numerous biochemical reactions in the body, including the production of neurotransmitters and DNA synthesis. Methylation helps regulate gene expression and maintain optimal brain function. B12 deficiency can impair methylation processes, potentially impacting mood regulation and increasing the risk of depression. 3. Homocysteine levels. B12 deficiency can lead to elevated homocysteine. High levels of homocysteine have been linked to various adverse effects on brain health, including the increased risk of depression. Elevated homocysteine can impair blood flow to the brain and affect the production of neurotransmitters, contributing to depressive symptoms. 4. Cognitive impairment. Severe and prolonged B12 deficiency can result in cognitive impairment, including memory problems and difficulty concentrating. The cognitive problems caused by B12 deficiency can be similar to symptoms of depression, which can cause doctors to wrongly diagnose someone with depression or make existing depressive feelings worse. 5. Impact on energy levels. B12 plays a crucial role in energy production, by aiding in the formation of red blood cells, and maintaining healthy nerve cells. Deficiency in B12 can result in anemia, which leads to fatigue, weakness, and low energy levels. Persistent fatigue and lack of energy can contribute to developing or worsening depressive symptoms. A deficiency in vitamin B12 has also been shown to be heavily linked with an increased risk of anxiety. Here are some details on how B12 deficiency contributes to anxiety. 1. Neurotransmitter imbalance. Vitamin B12 is vital in synthesizing neurotransmitters, such as serotonin, dopamine, and gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. These neurotransmitters are involved in regulating mood, emotions, and anxiety levels. B12 deficiency can disrupt the balance of these neurotransmitters, leading to increased anxiety symptoms. 2. Methylation process. B12 is an essential component in the methylation process, which is vital for various biochemical reactions in the body, including the synthesis of neurotransmitters, and the regulation of gene expression. Methylation helps maintain optimal brain function and mood stability. B12 deficiency can impair the methylation process, potentially contributing to anxiety symptoms. 3. Increased homocysteine levels. B12 deficiency can lead to elevated homocysteine. High levels of homocysteine have been associated with an increased risk of depression and anxiety. Elevated homocysteine can affect blood vessels, impair blood flow to the brain, and disrupt the function of neurotransmitters, contributing to anxiety symptoms. 4. Energy Metabolism B12 is involved in energy production by aiding in the formation of red blood cells, and maintaining healthy nerve cells. Deficiency in B12 can result in anemia and fatigue. Persistent fatigue and lack of energy can contribute to feelings of anxiety, and exacerbate anxiety symptoms. 5. Cognitive symptoms. Severe and prolonged B12 deficiency can lead to cognitive impairments, including difficulty concentrating, memory problems, and brain fog. These mental symptoms can cause distress and anxiety. It's important to know that while B12 deficiency, and even other B vitamins, such as B9 and B6, contribute to depression and anxiety, they may not be the sole cause. Depression and anxiety are complex conditions, influenced by various factors, including genetics, environmental triggers, and individual circumstances. Here are 10 other factors that are commonly associated with depression and anxiety. 
1. Genetic factors, certain genetic variations and family history of depression, can increase the risk of developing depression and anxiety. However, these inherited genes alone do not determine the occurrence of depression, or in fact, any disease process. Epigenetics also plays a huge factor in expressing genetics. While genetics focuses on the genes we inherit from our parents, epigenetics explores how our genes are turned on or turned off by different factors. Epigenetics is a field of study, examining how our genes can be influenced by factors other than their actual DNA sequence. It focuses on changes in gene activity, that can happen throughout our lives. These factors include our environment, the foods we eat, and our lifestyle choices. These influences can cause chemical modifications to our DNA and proteins, affecting how our genes function. Epigenetics help us understand how our genes can be influenced by our surroundings and lifestyle, and how these influences can impact our health and development. 2. Imbalance of neurotransmitters. Depression and anxiety have been linked to imbalances in neurotransmitters, such as dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. These chemicals regulate mood, emotions, and overall brain function. Disruptions in their levels or functioning can contribute to depressive and anxiety symptoms. 3. Chronic stress, prolonged exposure to stress, whether related to work, relationships, or other life events, can contribute to depression and anxiety. Chronic stress affects the brain's chemistry, and increases the risk of developing depressive disorders. 4. History of trauma, experiencing trauma, such as physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, can increase the vulnerability to depression and anxiety later in life. Traumatic events can lead to long-lasting brain structure and function changes, affecting mood regulation. 5. Chronic medical conditions. Certain medical conditions, such as chronic pain, cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases, are associated with a higher risk of depression and anxiety. The stress and challenges of managing a chronic illness can significantly impact a person's mental well-being. 6. Substance abuse. Substance abuse and addiction are closely linked to depression and anxiety. People with substance abuse disorders often experience co-occurring depression and anxiety as substances can disrupt brain chemistry and contribute to depressive symptoms. 7. Hormonal changes. Hormonal changes in women, such as during her period, birth control pills, pregnancy, postpartum, and menopause, can increase the risk of depression and anxiety. Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone. Low testosterone levels have been associated with an increased risk of depression and anxiety in men. Fluctuations in hormone levels can affect neurotransmitter function and contribute to mood disturbances. 8. Social isolation and lack of support. Social factors, such as isolation, loneliness, or a lack of social support, can contribute to depression and anxiety. Strong social connections and supportive relationships are protective factors against depression and anxiety. 9. Cognitive factors, negative thinking patterns, low self-esteem, and distorted perceptions of oneself and the world, can contribute to depression and anxiety. Cognitive factors shape one's interpretation of events, and can influence mood and emotional well-being. 10. Medications and substance withdrawal. Certain medications, such as sedatives, corticosteroids, or beta blockers, may increase the risk of depression and anxiety as side effects. In review of this video, B12 deficiency and depression. A deficiency in vitamin B12 has been associated with an increased risk of depression. Several mechanisms contribute to this link. First, B12 is essential for synthesizing neurotransmitters, such as serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which play crucial roles in mood regulation. B12 deficiency disrupts their production and balance, potentially leading to depressive symptoms. Second, B12 is involved in methylation, which regulates gene expression and brain function. Impaired methylation, due to B12 deficiency, can impact mood regulation and increase the risk of depression. Elevated homocysteine, caused by B12 deficiency, can also affect brain health, impair neurotransmitter function, 
and contribute to depressive symptoms. Cognitive impairments and fatigue resulting from B12 deficiency can also worsen depressive feelings. B12 deficiency and anxiety. B12 deficiency has also been linked to an increased risk of anxiety. Similar mechanisms play a role here as well. B12 is essential for neurotransmitter synthesis and methylation, affecting mood stability and brain function. Disruptions in neurotransmitter balance due to B12 deficiency can lead to increased anxiety symptoms. Impaired methylation processes can also contribute to anxiety. Elevated homocysteine, caused by B12 deficiency, can affect blood vessels, neurotransmitter function, and anxiety. Furthermore, the fatigue and lack of energy associated with B12 deficiency can contribute to feelings of anxiety. Cognitive symptoms such as difficulty concentrating and memory problems may cause distress and anxiety. It's important to know that B12 deficiency or other B vitamins, such as B9 and B6, may not be the sole cause of depression and anxiety. Multiple factors can influence these mental health conditions, such as those listed in the next two scenes. Understanding these factors can help in comprehending the multifaceted nature of depression and anxiety. Feel free to pause each of the next two scenes to review these other factors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for notifications of upcoming videos.